Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video. This is episode 15 and today we're going to be doing for loops. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications. If you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and check out my other videos, which should be in the icon in the corner. And what's going on with it. So for loops, pretty self-explanatory. Let's say these are good for making sums or if you want to run through an array, changing certain stuff. Um, you just basically want to run through a loop a certain amount of times, okay? So let's start with the initialization. We have for, which is our keyword here, and we have our parentheses, and we have a statement here, or a declaration here, we have a statement here, and then we have our action here, and then we got our code right here, okay? So let's say we want to start with int uh, equals zero. This is good for arrays, right? Okay, so I made my setup here. Kind of did a little over the top here. I basically made an, um, an int array with a size 5, which will look like this at the start before the for loop, and this will be after the for loop, okay? All right, so now we're going to start at 0 right here, and let's say we want i to be less than 5. Now, what this means, it will never go to 5. It will always stop at 4. 4 will be the last time it runs. However... If you do i is greater than or equal to 5, it will try to go 5, and it will completely fail because 5 is out of bounds, right? So you can either do i is less than 4, so we'll keep going until as long as i is less than 4, or no, 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 sorry, i is less than 5, or what you can do instead is i is less than or equal than or is i is, yeah, i or let. So what we can also do is i is less than or equal than 4, okay? But however, it's this is good for reading it if you're new, but it's honestly better to just do less than 5. Because you know our size is 5, right? So, I mean, I guess it's kind of easy to translate, think about it that way, okay? And then here, let's say we want i to increment by 1. Now, you can obviously increment it by 2 if you want to, if you want to update every single other array if you want to, which we can do. I can do that for example. And let's say we want our temp in the array at index i, because that's our variable right here. Also, it's int i equals zero. My apologies. And we're going to set this equal to i. So after this is done, basically, it'll look like this at the end. Just like this, right? Now let's say we want to skip. Let's say we want to add it by two. We can do plus equals two, okay? And we don't need the semicolon right here. Don't do that, okay? So now if we do this, it will start at zero. It will go to two, four, and then stop, okay? So what it'll look like here instead is it'll look like this. Zero, zero, two, zero, four. It's because we're skipping these ones because this is basically going to the even numbers in the for loop, right? Okay, so another thing to notice is that your IDE, since you're using whole numbers here, it'll say that you can put var. Yes, that's completely valid because these are integers. Now, you can do floats, and you can just do float i equals zero, and you can do um, i is less than one, and let's say you want to increment every 0 0.1. I mean, I don't know what you're going to do that for, probably for sums or something like that, but in our case, we're using whole numbers, so we can just make this var because it knows it's an integer, right? Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on notifications and check out my other videos. Comment, to my, comment your suggestions below and your questions. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace.